Mr. Button from the European Parliament. Uh, thank you, Madam Chairman. Um, I've got a, a two-part simple question for the Commission, but if I might uh, do a little bit of introduction first. Uh, I want to refer to what Keith Vaz, Chairman of the UK Homes Affairs Committee, said in, in his talk. Uh, he said two things. Uh, he, he referred to migrants uh, and said that the EU needs a plan that it can sell to the electorate. Well, I'm glad he referred to migrants because yesterday in the committee meeting today we've heard a lot of talk about refugees and asylum seekers. And, of course, the 1951 Convention lays down some precise uh, uh, criteria for what constitutes a refugee. And many, if not the vast majority of the people now at the gates of Europe, do not fulfill that criteria. Uh, they're not uh, uh, refugees. They are migrants, and they're illegal uh, migrants. He then said that, um, that, that the, the, uh, I presume he means the UK government in this as well, uh, and certainly the European Union, needs a plan that it can sell to the electorate. Well, politicians always think that if they can explain unpopular policies, that somehow they can sell them to the people. Uh, well, I was a salesman for many years, and I can tell you, you can't sell people something they don't want. And if you succeed in doing that, it's probably because you're a con man and not a salesman. Now, people all over Europe are, are making it plain that they don't want more and never-ending waves of mass immigration. We've seen demonstrations across Europe. Uh, you won't see it on the politically correct BBC. It's ironic in Britain now that if you want to actually find out what's going on, you have to tune in to the Russian propaganda channel, RT, and they will show these demonstrations going on across Europe. Yesterday in the committee here, uh, Hungary was criticised and castigated uh, because the Hungarian government actually had the temerity to ask its own citizens of what it actually wants. And God forbid that the European Union should ever do that because it knows far better than the citizens uh, what they want. And of course, one of the few people that's actually spoken some sense during this whole crisis has been Viktor Orban. So I was pleased to see the Hungarian commissioner actually standing up for their country yesterday. What we're seeing in these increased numbers of migrants and the attitude of these migrants is not migration now, it's invasion of a kind. Look at the attitudes of the young, fit men at Calais and in Hungary. They are not asking nicely to be allowed in because they're being persecuted in their own countries. They are demanding entry. They are aggressive and arrogant. Um, the more we let these people in, the more will arrive. Now, um, Mr. Malia said that where would we be in this problem if the European Union didn't exist? Well, probably this problem wouldn't exist uh, because uh, Mrs. Merkel, as we know, invited uh, as many as wanted to come into Germany, and she's now reaping the whirlwind. Uh, and, of course, because of the Schengen Open Borders policy, these people know that if they can get a foothold in one state, they can then get into the rest of the Europe and all the way to Calais. Now, um, and of course, most of these people are actually coming from Muslim countries, which has already been alluded to, and it would make, mass, make far more sense if they were actually to seek asylum in Muslim countries and actually go in the other direction. So I'll come to my two simple questions to the Commission. Will the Commission accept that the vast majority of these people trying to gain entry into Europe are not refugees and asylum seekers, but are migrants, and they are illegal migrants, and therefore its policy should uh, reflect that accordingly. And secondly, will the Commission accept uh, that it should use all diplomatic pressure and all practical means as a concerted effort uh, with European national governments uh, to actually put pressure on the very, very wealthy is Muslim states in the Gulf, for example, who could take these people in and accommodate them. They're in much, much better position to do it. The people would fit in better. They'd be much happier. It would be better for them and for us. And, of course, they can afford it because they're vastly wealthy. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Button. Désolé, mais je ne suis pas sûr qu'il y a quelqu'un qui représente. Sorry, I don't think there's anyone representing the Commission now. I'm sorry. So you, you should have asked your question this morning. We don't have a Commission represented this afternoon.